There once was a fellow named Lewis who... What rhymes with Lewis? Ruiz. That's not a word. Ruiz. Mr. Ruiz. No. Yeah. No. I don't think it works. No. Okay. All right. Let's just draw. Hey, Lewis structures. These are Lewis structures of covalent bonds, folks. Or covalent compounds. Yeah. Yeah, probably compounds. We drew these uh, uh, earlier when we talked about uh, ionic bonds, and we draw electron dot structures, I think we called them. Those are actually Lewis structures as well, named after Mr. Lewis. And so we're going to be talking about Lewis structures here in our Bonding 5 lesson. Okay. Bunch of words to copy down, and then we'll do lots of examples or several examples. Uh, single bond, double bond, triple bond. Probably should pause the video yep. and write these down. Okay, the key thing to understand with these bonds is that electrons are shared in pairs. Right, one bond is one pair. And a pair means two, two electrons. So when you see a bond, you might have seen this like, you know, I don't know, out in the world. C, C, H, you know, C, L. Each of these little bonds is actually uh, two, two electrons. electrons. When you have a double bond, for example, oxygen has a double bond, uh, these lines... Each one is a pair, so that's four, four electrons. electrons total. And then there's such a thing as a triple bond. Mm -hmm. So, for example, in the substance cyanide, again, we'll probably draw this at some point maybe as an example, that represents six electrons. So they always work in pairs. There's not, not never. Very, very rarely do you have an odd number of electrons that are shared. Yep. It does happen in very rare circumstances. And typically, if you've got something with odd numbers of electrons, it's explosive. It doesn't like to stay yeah. that way. So we have some more definitions, and then we'll get to the kind of stuff. So again, you should pause the video and write down these two um, definitions. So the Lewis structure that we're learning about right here is the um, symbolic representation um, that shows the um, structure of a particular molecule. Right. The, the valence electrons are indicated either as participating in a bond or as an unshared pair. An unshared pair are electrons that are not participating in a bond. Right. They're very important, and we'll see about that very much so. uh, in a later podcast. Okay. All right. So now we're going to learn how to draw Lewis structures. Okay. Now to draw Lewis structures, there are five rules that you must apply. Hey, Again, guess what? Pause, pause. This is and the write pause these down. video. Okay, so you've paused and written these down. So you're going to count the number, uh, place one bond for each connection, distribute on the outside first, extra electrons on the central, redistribute for double or triple bonds. So you're going to have these rules. We're going to just do these together yep. with several examples. So the first okay. example is H2. water. Now, for water, the first thing we've got to do is determine the number of valence electrons. Right. We've got two hydrogens and an oxygen. So okay. if we go back and we look at this table of, of uh, valence, valence electrons. electrons, hydrogen right here has one valence electron. Okay. So and we have two of them. So that'll be two because there's one plus one. Right. Plus the value for oxygen. oxygen. And oxygen's value, if you look over here, is six. So, oops. Wrong direction. Guess which one we're doing next? Six. So okay. two and six is eight. Eight. Okay. We have think of it this way, ladies and gentlemen. You have eight electrons to spin. It's like a, an account, if you will. Right. Now you have to put one element in the center. Actually, and hydrogen will never go in the center. Yeah, hydrogen's on the outside. Always. So I'm going to put hydrogens on the outside. Now notice I quickly went and I drew a bond. Now again, what's a bond represent? A pair of electrons. Two electrons. Right. So of my eight, I have spent four electrons. So I have four more. Now, is the hydrogen happy? It is. It only wants two. He only wants two. And so it has access to two with that, it's that with bond, bond right A bond there. has yeah. two. So a hydrogen is happy. So I have four more to spend. So the rest of them go on the central atom, like the rules say. Mm -hmm. So I put one, one two, two, three, four. And we distribute them in pairs. Yeah, always in pairs. Good call. Now, important thing. Now we ask, is oxygen happy? Let's count. Uh, two, two, four, four six, six, eight. It's happy. It's happy. That's it. We're done. All right. All right, let's easy. do another one. How about NF3? NF3. Let's nitrogen trifluoride. Now, nitrogen is here, and fluorine is here. So, Mr. Sam's five. Nitrogen has five. Fluorine has seven. seven. Okay, so nitrogen so, has five. So, I'm going to write that five here, and this will be seven. Seven times three. three here, so that means times three. So, that's so uh, 21 plus five, 26. Is 26. Now, that's a lot more than eight. It is. Okay. But... Now, the central atom is almost always, water is one of the exceptions, yeah. actually. You always put the center. Or the first atom, element. The first the, element is the center atom. Or the one you have one of, generally yeah. speaking. That's a good call. 
So I've got three Fs and an N. Okay. And I've got to spin 26 electrons. Okay, but we need a bond between the nitrogen and each fluorine. Yeah, and usually they branch. Don't I see sometimes where students will do N, F, F, F or something no. like that. Don't do that. Just There's, put the one that's by itself He's in the, the middle. middle dude. So yeah. you'll do it. Not two, four, four six. six. Now, I'm, where do I go? Outside, inside. Outside, inside. I go outside, outside first. first. So I spin six, and this will be eight, eight ten, ten, 12, 12 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Okay, all the outsides are done, but we have 26. So we have two more, and those go in the central on one. The center. 28, or 26, I mean. There. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, good news, guys. If you really can count, everyone's got eight, eight, eight. Look at this fluorine. Two, four, six, and the bond counts as two more eights. Okay. This nitrogen has two, four, six, eight. Those right. aren't double bonds, those are single ones. Yeah. Hey, by the way, these electrons are called what? Uh, unbonded pairs. Unshared, unshared pair, I think. Yeah, yeah, we're saying the same thing. And right here. In older textbooks, you might see them called a lone pair. Yeah, this is a bonded pair. Right. It's a lot of names, but the yeah. bonded pairs are lines. Right. Unshared pairs are dots on the central atom. Or on the outside atom, too. Yeah. Unshared. But the ones you really care about are on the central right. atom. That's true. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. The next right. gamble CCO4. is carbon tetrachloride. Hey, it's raining outside. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, we need a little moisture. Hey, carbon. Let's look at carbon on the periodic table. Carbon is element and column four here. And then uh, chlorine is seven. So we got a four and a seven. So carbon gets four, All right. and chlorine gets seven and there's four times of them. four, so seven, seven times four is twenty-eight. Twenty-eight and four is a thirty-two. 32. Two. So the central atom, and this would be carbon, so I'm going to put my four chlorines on the outside. So what's the first step? Um, the, draw a bond next between them all. Two, four, six, eight. Hey, by the way, carbon. He's happy already. He's got eight. Carbon's good. So if we can make chlorine happy, we're happy. we're good to go, right? Yep. So 10, 12, 14, 16. 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. 32. Okay. We're good. Everybody's happy. Each chlorine has eight. Carbon has eight. Everyone's happy. Sulfur dioxide. All right. Let's so, go. All right. Sulfur is right here in oxygen. Uh -huh. And oxygen. Oh, hey. Oh, they right. all have so six. Six is the number. Okay. So, so we've sulfur got has six. Six plus. Uh, six times two. Six times two. So that's 18. That's just 18. All right. So sulfur is in the middle, oxygens are on the outside. Okay, so we need a bond from the oxygens to the Two, sulfur. Four. Okay. Now we go to the outside, yep. right? Yep. Six. Six. Eight. Eight. eight ten. ten. Okay. He's happy there because he's yep. got eight. Twelve. Twelve, right? Yep. Fourteen. Fourteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. And then an extra one's going on the central. So central. Eighteen. Eighteen. All right. So our oxygens are. He's got eight. Yep. This oxygen has eight. Eight. And this sulfur has, sulfur has six. six. Oh, bummer. I thought we could get eight. eight. Oh, it didn't work. Nope. So hmm. what's our rule? If one if one of them doesn't have enough, what do we have to do? Hey, we haven't actually used rule number five. All right. Redistribute electrons by making double or triple bonds if necessary to fulfill the octet rule. Uh, I think this might That's, be necessary. This is necessary. Yeah. So, folks, the way to do this is you have to take a look at one of the oxygens. It doesn't really matter. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a, you know, take these two electrons. Instead of making them a unshared pair, we can erase them and put a double bond here. All right. So we just took those two electrons, and those two electrons that were not bonded are now bonded. the bond. So sulfur dioxide has a double bond and a single bond. Mm -hmm. Could so I have taken two from the other oxygen instead? Yes. Yeah, so it, it would also have been the written same thing. simply like this. Like like that with the appropriate number of electrons, it wouldn't matter which way you drew it. Okay. Okay. Good enough. The next one's an ion. Two more examples, Mr. Sams. Nitrogen in two. Nitrogen gas. You're breathing it all the time. Your body doesn't use it, but there's nitrogen. Hey, he's five. Okay. And it's in two, so it's five five. So that's our two ten. times five. We got ten. So we've got n bonded bonded to, to n. n. All right. So we start with the bond. Two. Two. Four. four. Six, Six eight, eight, ten. Ten. So the oh. one on the right's happy, but the one on the left is not. He's happy. Yay. Hmm, but this nitrogen is happy. Well, again, when we, when we run out of space, what do we do? We steal two and make it into two. a bond. So, so let's take those two, two. And they're gone. They don't exist now. We've got a double bond. Okay. Now the guy on the left is six. Yeah. It's not good. Nope. So let's take two more. Ah, 
Hey, that's a triple bond. Right. Can we can you redraw that for me? So yeah. So it's not so confusing. Yeah. It's n triple bond n, and each of these would then have a pair of electrons, unshared pairs on either side. All right. So that's the answer for nitrogen. Okay. Good Let's enough. do one more, Mr. Sanders. All right. It is a little bit complex. Hey, look, there's a charge on there. This one has a charge, and we haven't really learned too much about the names of these, or maybe we have. It depends on how our order we do each year. But this negative charge indicates it has an extra electron. An extra electron. So when we count the valence electrons, we have to include an extra one. In there. An All right, extra. so, so let's look at N nitrogen. And o. N is 5, and O is 6. Okay. So this will be five, 5. 5 plus 3 times 6 plus, plus the 1. one. Okay. This adds 1. If that was a minus 2, we would get 2 more. Two more. And if it was positive 1, you would subtract, subtract 1. one. Right. Yeah. So this is 18, 19, and 5, 24. 24. So we got 24 to spin. Okay, so nitrogen looks like it'll go in the middle. Yeah, nitrogen's your middle. So it's by itself. And then oxygen's around. three O's. All right. So let's bond. spin. 2, 4, 6. Okay. 8, 8 10, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. All the, all the oxidants are happy, but, but the nitrogen, nitrogen is, is not. So, so this just steal two. doesn't matter which two. Psh Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Now, now well, one other thing is whenever you have an ion, put it in brackets. Because you need to indicate that this has an overall charge of negative one. one. So if it's an ion, put it in brackets and write the charge in the outside of the brackets. Indicating yeah. that the entire thing carries a charge of minus one. Which means one extra electron. Yeah. That's it. So that's how you draw Lewis structures for covalent Compounds. Yep, and you'll get lots non-metal to non-metal. It's different from metal to non-metal. That's where you got to show arrows and right. dots. Yeah, and this stuff. you'll get lots of practice.